heart, the heart of the high priest, the heart of the priest, it was then carried by the shoulders of the priest. To say, and God was saying, whensoever you stand before God, whensoever you stand before God, I will remember all the tribes. <laughs> Which means when I see you, you are carrying my blessing. Even if your weight was 50 kgs only, but in the spirit, you are carrying whichever tribe I come from, you are carrying my name. Amen. When you stand before the Lord, when you overcome the beast, I have overcome. <laughs> Which means you have overcome on my behalf. Which means when you meet resistance, when you meet opposition, if I am around, I must come and reinforce you. If I get to know about it, I must come and stand. I must come and fight every dragon. Because your victory is my victory. Your victory is our victory. I'm talking about the true fathers in the gospel. I'm not talking about television false prophets. I'm talking about tried and tested fathers. But we must change every configuration in order to take the kingdom of God to the next level. We belong to the next level. But I sense in the kingdom of God, not just here, but in the kingdom of God, there is a dangerous disconnect between the victories of the fathers and the behavior of the sons. Because the sons are being held captive. Listen to me. If you read the Bible, if you read the Bible in Exodus chapter 2, how did the slavery get broken after 430 years? The slavery of the Israelites in Egypt. The Bible says the children of Israel cried. They cried and the Bible says their cry came to God. And the Bible says, and God heard. But to be heard and to be answered are two different things. Before God answered them, the Bible says, then God remembered his covenant with Abraham. <laughs> God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. And God acknowledged them. That connection was acknowledged. To say, okay, these people who have prayed, they, have, they are praying because right now a beast has risen in Egypt to enslave them. The Bible says they had risen up a pharaoh who did not know Joseph. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a beast, my brother. <laughs> That's a beast, my brother. Somebody who says, you are going to make bricks for me. But you will not use water. You will use your saliva until you make the bricks. That's not a king. That's a beast. And right now, all of Africa, let every beast come down from thrones. In the name of Jesus. In the company where you work, where if there is a beast that is sitting there called managing director, I dethrone every beast in the name of Jesus. And your salary rise must come. If there is a bank where you have applied for money to start that business, I remove that application from the hands of beasts in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. They had risen up this Pharaoh who did not know Joseph. Who did not recognize. It does not mean that he did not really know anything about Joseph. But he was refusing to recognize. To recognize everything that Joseph had done for 80 years in Egypt. From 30 years old to 110 when he died. 80 years. That beast was refusing to recognize. And so, 
He says, you will not use wood for burning the bricks. You will use straw. You will use grass. Which means things that are supposed to happen for you in one day, you will have to suffer for a whole year until that oven of bricks turns red. You know, there are some things that happen in people's lives that are completely unfair and that are not meant for humanity. But when they prayed, God said, okay, you want another level. You are asking for another level. You are asking for the next level of victory. But who has actually fought and received the title deeds and the credentials for that level? Who did I promise? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And since you are connected to them, I acknowledge you. I acknowledge you. Which means we cannot play around with covenant. We cannot play around with the spiritual relationship and connection now. Because this thing has destiny in it. Now, therefore, Elisha says, where is the Lord God of Elijah? He smites the waters. The waters recognize the jacket of Elijah. And the waters get separated. Left and right. And Elisha crossed over. You are crossing over. You are crossing over. You are crossing over. This day, we are removing every superficial and academic and limited mindset which has kept people in bondage and away from the next level. You must determine it in your heart today. We pray for you. We pray for you. But today, when you give, you must be giving to say, I am connecting to this anointing. I am covenanting with this anointing. May his prayers work for me. May his victories work for me. May the grace upon his life. Oh my God. If I am part of this church, not only that, if I if I have partaken of his work, may the rivers be parted for me. May the rivers be parted. Your giving of tithe today, your giving of offering today, if you are bringing a first fruit today, let it be out of deep revelation and out of deep covenant. Be like Elisha. Who is saying, I'm tearing my mantle. Yeah. I'm tearing. <laughs> I'm, I'm tearing down my own clothes. Because they cannot take me to the next level. The next level. There has been devils and beasts. Standing there. But that is why. For this reason. That's why Paul says, for this reason. <laughs> for this reason. John says, for this reason, the Son of God was manifested. And Paul says, for this reason, God made me an apostle to you Gentiles. For this reason, Bishop Mutula, John Mutula, was called by God to stop everything. For this reason, so that the Jordan waters might open and you cross. Hey, I just feel there are so many women who are going to receive their marriages here in this meeting. In this meeting, in this meeting, in this meeting, in this meeting, yes, in we are in covenant agreement. In that covenant agreement, we call that beast to let your husband come in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your money, which was borrowed from you long ago, and it was not coming back. We command every beast that has been holding that money to let go in the name of Jesus. We call your money to come in the name of Jesus. 
in the name of Jesus we remove every illegal signpost from your property from your inheritance every illegal signpost must come down now in the mighty name of Jesus somebody stand up on your feet because right now something is happening about your inheritance something is happening about your inheritance your things are coming back your things are coming back into position they are coming back into shape in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus because God is restoring to you the years that the locust has eaten the years that the kangaroo has eaten the years that the caterpillar has eaten the years that the locust has eaten and the palm away. in the mighty name of Jesus you belong to a next level you belong to a next level the, the country of Belgium the country of Belgium does not own minerals does not have does not own minerals but that country it is the world diamond trading center all diamonds from South Africa diamonds from Zimbabwe diamonds from Sierra Leone diamonds from DRC they have to be sold from Belgium now Belgium has an, a national airline, Belgian Airlines. The aeroplanes are built with minerals, from minerals from Congo, DRC. Congo does not have a national airline. Does not have a national airline. I'm trying to graphically tell you and show you that you belong somewhere. Amen. You belong to another level. You belong to another level. That is why God would put it on Christ to say, hey, don't just sit here, go to the wilderness you will meet the devil. This is the guy who has been sitting on your property. You must meet that guy. And so today, we come back to our property in the name of Jesus. 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 And Jesus has put himself through grace into man. And so that's why we serve under his sent ones. In order to effect this grand cosmic warfare and to overcome and to prevail. And to bring, when you are bringing 10,000 rands, what you are simply doing is very simple. You are tearing your own clothes and you are taking his mantle. <laughs> because you are saying there is a river, there is a Jordan River, which does not recognize science and technology. It does not recognize science, mathematics, and technology. It recognizes the mantle of grace. Amen. Now I decree that the things that were refusing to happen. Amen. Yeah. Yes, in your life. Yes. Yes. In your life. In your life. In your life. Things that were saying, who are you? From today, <laughs> there will be acknowledgement. 
There will be acknowledgement. There will be acknowledgement. There will be acknowledgement. There will be acknowledgement. There will be no more delay. There will be no more delay. 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 You know, I, I feel this anger of the Holy Spirit to say, why are these people suffering? Why are these people disinherited? Why are they poor? We say no more delay. We say no more delay. Where we were not allowed to enter, today you enter. What you were not allowed to touch, today you receive. The levels that you were not allowed to give, today you 